The stock market in the United States just closed the first full day for China's Alibaba. The country's largest e-commerce site is now being officially traded on the New York Stock Exchange. This was what it was like when the markets opened Friday. The initial price for each share was estimated at $68. However, as the market opened, it increased by 30 percent. The price per share now is neck and neck with U.S. retail giant Walmart. Company CEO Jack Ma invited several longtime clients to ring the opening bell. Now for more on this story, CCTV's Karina Huber joins us from New York live. Karina, what is the latest with the trading with Alibaba? All right, Susan. Well, it's been a pretty volatile uh, trading session for Alibaba's first day at the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, as you mentioned, the first trade came in at $92.70, and within 15 minutes, the stock was trading at almost $100 a share, but it has since retreated. And the last trade that we have here is $93.89, so slightly higher than that opening price. Uh, but nevertheless, a nice pop from the IPO price of $68 a share and plenty for the company to celebrate today. Uh, it raised $21.8 billion in this offering, making it the largest offering in U.S. history. Not in the world, though. However, that could change. It still has the right to exercise an over-allotment option uh, called the Green Shoe, which would allow them to sell more shares and thus raise $25 billion, which would give it the title of the world's largest IPO, surpassing the Agricultural Bank of China. Now, of course, Jack Ma, the infamous founder of this company, who started off as an English teacher, had lots to celebrate. This is what he had to say about this moment. Going public in the United States means more responsibilities for Alibaba. The team and I were all very excited last night when we talked about how the company had made it. We never expected we would be able to get here 15 years later. It was really a long and tough time, but it was also exciting. And we are ready to meet more challenges in the next 15 years, or even 87 years to come. The group's future is our biggest concern. The group's future is our biggest concern. Those are the words of Jack Ma. And very true, when you become a publicly traded company, there are a lot of responsibilities that come with that. You have to answer to shareholders. At the same time, they're, wanting, they're going to want to keep uh, their vision of innovation firmly grounded in the company's culture. Susan? Karina, as you know, there's been no shortage of interest, obviously, among Wall Street investors. But how is the retail sector reacting? Absolutely. Well, as you know, with an IPO, how it works is before the shares start trading on the first day of trading, uh, the shares are available largely to those large institutional investors, the hedge funds and the pension funds. So those are the ones who were able to get it at $68 a share. For the rest of us, the mom and pops, we really had to wait until today. And one of the largest online brokerage firms, Ameritrade, said they didn't expect much interest in Alibaba because they weren't getting many phone calls leading into the IPO. But surprise, surprise, today they saw a lot of orders coming in for Alibaba. In fact, they're saying that Alibaba will likely be the second largest IPO on first day of trading in terms of trading volume for Ameritrade, second only to Facebook. They predict that around 15% of all the trading volume on Ameritrade today uh, were in the purchase of Alibaba or, or selling and trading, uh, selling and buying of Alibaba shares. And so uh, Facebook was 22%. So, you know, we've been talking a lot about how Alibaba is well known on Wall Street, but it looks like they're getting well known on Main Street as well. Susan? Karina Huber, as always, nice to see you. Thank you for that.